The Soho International Film Festival begins this week right here in New York City, and one of the most poignant films on display is the Canadian drama with Child. Let's take a look. When can you start? Whenever. Tomorrow? Okay. How old is she? Four months. Did your wife leave you or did she die? None of your business. Do you want to have some coffee and chat? Chat? Is that part of the interview? Yes. I'd love some. Well, here to tell us some more is the film's producer and co-star, Leslie Lewis. Welcome to the show. Leslie, with Child, it's a powerful look at how we process grief. Tell us more about this project and what made you want to be a part of it. I read it um, in when I was living in Vancouver, mm -hmm. and I was brought on board to uh, for the role of Petra. And when I read the script, it just touched me very deeply. And uh, I thought, this is a story that is meaningful to me and that I want to help to tell. Mm -hmm. And what do you hope people will take away from this story? Well, our tagline is, what you choose now affects your past. Mm -hmm. And so in every moment, we decide what to focus on. And so you can decide to focus on grief or focus on joy. It's really a question of whether uh, people want to be happy or not. Mm -hmm. And your character you mentioned is Petra Dell. Tell us more about her and her role in the film and how much of an impact she has on the protagonist. Well, she is a very quirky character. Mm -hmm. She is a professor uh, who had a very unique upbringing. So she has almost no layer of self-consciousness. So she's just straight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very blunt. Very, <laughs> yes. very blunt. Yes. Some might say not as tactful as she should be. <laughs> She's yeah. not tactful at all. Not like. tactful at all. Yes. But in real life, you're really quite tactful and very lovely. So how did you go about trying to become this character? Because I know you a bit and you're nothing like her. At least I don't think you are. <laughs> I, I'm really happy to hear you say that. <laughs> so, I mean, she's a wonderful person. It was fun to play her, but she's tough to live with, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so to play, to play her, it's just a question of stripping away those masks that, you know, that I, mask is maybe not the right word, but just those social niceties that people put on, she doesn't have them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, she's, and so it's easy to do that in some ways because it's like a relief. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she, at one point she says to um, the man, you're handsome. And it's just straight up. She's not exactly flirting. She's just stating a fact. Mm. But anyone else who says that is, uh, you know, people mm -hmm. don't say that. Mm. So it's, uh, it's fun to play somebody who just says it like it is. She doesn't really read social cues all that well. <laughs> yeah. right. Well, you've also said that your part was partly inspired by President Obama. How so? Well, uh, President Obama, I'm, he's such an incredible uh, leader. Mm. I mean, I'm so proud to be American at the time, at this time, mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's, uh, it was such a gift that uh, to know him a mm. bit, and uh, it's really an honor to be a, a part of uh, this country while he's uh, alive. Definitely. And, and working. And well, another great man was your father, Reginald Lewis. Talk mm. to us about his legacy, and what do you think he would make of you and all your success right now? Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. My father, um, when he was alive, he really, he was about reaching for the top mm -hmm. and just going for, for what was most important. But what's interesting is that he died when he was 50 years old and at the height of his power. Mm -hmm. And it made me really ask questions like, where did he go? Mm -hmm. Or what is the point? Like what, why? And to find answers to that, I had to really look deeply into myself and do things that were meaningful to me. And so making movies that are meaningful to me, that's, that would be make him proud, yeah. that I'm doing something that's important to me. And for those who don't know, your father was a legendary businessman. Yes. Yeah. So my father was Reginald Lewis. Mm -hmm. He, at the time, uh, he was the first African American to build a billion dollar business empire. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when he was six years old, he decided he wanted to be the richest black man in America. <laughs> And wow. in the 80s, he did that. He succeeded. <laughs> he succeeded. Wow. And then he died. Mm. And so it was like, what is all this money for if it can't buy you another day of life? Mm. And um, that's finding answers to that question has been important to me. And that's why this concept of what you choose now affects your past. I get to choose what memories I have of him. And I have so many wonderful memories of him. Mm. And I get to choose how I interpret his death. 
and I interpret it as live, mm -hmm. live fully. And so that's yeah. what this movie's about. What do you think the biggest lesson you learned from him personally is, be there about business or anything in life? Yeah, live fully. <laughs> Definitely. Live fully. And focus. Focus is important. I mean, that's this whole idea of what you choose affects your past. Where we choose to put our focus is everything. That's true. I loved watching your previous guest. You know, he, <laughs> David was just so delightful, and it's clear that he puts his focus on things that are meaningful to him. Mm -hmm. And so that's like you guys singing. I love that. <laughs> like, that was completely delightful. <laughs> so, singing a song. You're so kind. I know. Thank you. <laughs> It was fun. It was definitely fun. I feel like we should do a round or something. Like, you are my sunshine, uh -oh. my only sunshine. Oh, so you sing so much better than us. Happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Woo! That was awesome. So when's that? I'll sing it and actress look. Do it good. all. Good Do that better than singing. Can you put in the yeah, you know, little, little snaps? So, oh, wow. so we'll be your backup dancers Let's when you go it. on tour. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Would, so what's next for you? Is it an album? Well, I'm actually performing in South Africa with the, my one woman show Miracle in Rwanda. It's a blessing. To, um, it's the National Arts Festival and the Women Playwrights International Conference in South Africa. So getting invited to do that was a huge honor. Oh, well. So that'll be next month. And that was incredibly well received mm -hmm. as well. So congratulations. Thanks. Oh, and then of course tomorrow is our screening at the Soho International That's Film right. Festival. That's right. Yes, this is the U.S. premiere of the film, and I'm just the first uh, screening sold out. So I think uh, if people if I, people can try going to withchildmovie.com on Facebook mm -hmm. and seeing if there's any tickets left for the second screening. But anyway, that's what's happening tomorrow. Wow. Well, you've got excited a about packed that. weekend. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for fitting us in, and we can't wait to see you again. Thank yes. you. Thank Thanks you so much. for singing Thanks for with us. me. Oh, no problem. You guys. Please don't take yeah. our sunshine yeah. away. But we'll be right back with more sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That was so great. Thank great. you so much.